so our first test is actually finished since we have added an assertion which is very important part of every test and now we should look at some test scripts inside here because we have a lot of options which we can do with test cafe and here as you can see we are actually testing chrome by default but it would actually make sense to change it to test chrome because chrome is not the only browser we can use let me show you what i mean what if i want to run the tests for example in safari well i can create a script for that so let's create a script called test safari and i probably think you already know how this script will look like again i need to call test cafe but instead of chrome i want to call safari and then i want to specify the address of test and here i am targeting the whole folder but you don't need to you can also target only a specific file you can for example do it such as basic.test.js and it will only run this test file inside safari but for typical purposes you would like to run your whole test folder so let's keep it like this well another option is for example firefox so let's implement it as well and again it's very simple similar and i see a typo here it should be like this so test cafe firefox dot test and thanks to this i can now choose which browser i want to run tests in so let's just try it but remember you need to if you are running those tests locally such as we do now in our tutorial you need to have for example safari or firefox installed so let me show you i'm gonna call npm run test chrome and right now it should test the chrome similar to the previous run and as you can see everything is working it was actually running version chrome 78 and let's now change it and npm run test safari and as you can see it's running my safari test here on the second window and again it was fast but as you can see it ran the safari in inside version 13.0.2 and our test was passing again and let's now test that out for firefox it should work as well and i have a typo probably uh -huh. it needs npm run test firefox And again, as you can see, it's running tests inside of Firefox. But what would happen if I would, for example, want to use Opera, which I haven't installed? Actually, pretty simple. It would just crash and it would tell you that you don't have your browser installed locally. But uh, just choosing a different browser, it's not everything. We can also try to run tests in headless mode, which means it will not uh, spin up the physical browser and it will run everything headless, which means it will be much faster because it doesn't need to handle all the UI actions. And Chrome support this by default. So let's add it. We can do it right after the Chrome to keep it consistent. So let's do test chrome handless 
and the command would be very similar. Simply you just want to call the test cafe. You want to choose the Chrome, but you want to specify that you want to choose the headless version of the Chrome. And then again, we want to write the uh, run the tests like this and save it. And if I now go and run npm run test Chrome headless, it will run the test inside the Chrome, but you will not see any browser. You see it started and it's passed and you didn't see anything because when you're running the headless version, it doesn't render the browser in your window. Everything is running under the hood without rendering and which means it's much faster. This is very good for uh, CI CD tools such as Jenkins or Travis or Circle CI or whatever you are running your tests. You should always run your tests headless because it will greatly reduce the execution time. But let's not end here. There is also one option which is worth mentioning and it is a mobile version. You can actually like uh, make it smaller to be like a mobile. So let's do test Chrome and set it to version mobile. And here I again want to specify the test cafe. And now I need to call something which is called Chrome emulation device. And I need to specify the version of the device I want to emulate. So I'm going to basically type Chrome emulation device equals and uh, actually which device I want to use. So in my case, it's iPhone 10. And I want to, again, run everything inside the tests. And I hope I didn't do any typo. Chrome emulation relation device iPhone 10 oops emulation emulation so let's now try to run it so I'm gonna npm run test chrome mobile and let's see what happen As you can see, it's now simulating the iPhone view, which is much smaller than typical desktop. And everything is still working. So I think that's it for now. We have created our test scripts. Now you can choose if you want to run in Chrome, Safari or Firefox, or you can even choose headless or mobile version. It's up to you. It's And if you want to use, for example, Opera, remember you need to download Opera locally. And then you can do the similar pattern. You will just run test cafe, opera, and your folder which you want to target. So I think that's it. It was a pretty long video, but we have our scripts now ready. So see you in the next video.